am coming back to you with section four of the Guangpeng Yang Tai Chi Chuan form. The last time we were together, we were doing the very end movement was um, turn and kick two feet upward. And this section starts obviously right after that with deflect, parry, and punch. Now, deflect, parry, and punch is in this, you know, it's, it, it's bleh, bleh, easy for me to say. It's uh, several times in this form. Um, the only difference about this one is it's the only time instead of punching under, we're punching over. So that's exciting. How about that? So it's step in, deflect downward parry, and punch. That is movement 25. That's the 25th movement of the form. And that's going to take us all the way to movement 32, which is halfway through this form. So, and that one is um, pull down and press forward or chop opponent with fist. We have many names for just <laughs> one movement. It always happens to be that way. All right, so let's start off where we ended, which is that we had this, we basically had a jump kick or you can step and kick. Notice that right hand is forward, left hand is down, and remember the structure. Whenever you're doing one hand forward, one hand back, generally speaking, the back hand is the same distance away from your center as the extended hand's elbow. So it's here, not here, not back here, but here. And if you notice that it's back here or forward here, give yourself a pat on the back. That's awareness, you're building awareness. Don't criticize yourself and go, oh, I made a mistake. It's not a mistake. Noticing these things is brilliant. Beauty, ah, so try not to see anything as negative. It's just really building your awareness. So right foot is forward because you just did that kick. Right hand is forward, left hand is subtly back and we go into step in, deflect downward, parry and punch over. Step back. Arms beside body, toe kick to face. Turn and kick with soul. Step forward, deflect downward, parry, and punch. This one's under the arm. Apparent close up and push. And now second carry tiger to mountain, heel comes in. Hook the foot, carry tiger to mountain. Chop opponent with fist. And that's where we end. Let's try it again. Begin. Step in, deflect downward, parry, punch. Step back, arms beside body. Toe kick to face. Turn and kick with soul. Apparent close up and push. Carry tiger to mountain. Chop opponent with fist. Okay, I'm gonna do this with the footwork modifications. Begin. Back, arms beside body, toe kick to face. 
Now modifications. Step, step behind, rotate the foot, hands cross, sweep, hands come up, knee comes up, hands out, foot out. Step forward, deflect downward, parry, punch, parent close up and push. Carry tiger to mountain, heel comes in for the modification. Foot hooks around, pivot to the corner. Now chop opponent with fist. Okay, let's try it again. This is the modified version. Oh, I forgot the modified version, sorry. Heel in. Hook the foot. Pivot to the corner. All right. So that was the fourth section and um, it takes us halfway through the form. So we know that there are four more sections because there are 64 movements in this form, but it seems to get easier on the second half because you know so many movements and many of those movements repeat in the second half. So it feels like you're in a familiar neighborhood. All right, happy practicing.